Right, we've already had a look at how we can calculate Kc uh, by writing out the Kc expression for any reversible reaction um, and then plugging in the equilibrium concentrations and getting Kc um, and the units from that. Um, now the issue is what if we're not given the equilibrium concentrations? So what we now need to do is use something called the Rice method uh, to calculate the equilibrium concentrations and then plug that into our Kc expression to get Kc. Now, in order to do this, I need to do this with a question. So I have a question over here. We've got nitrogen monoxide and oxygen reacting together in a reversible reaction with the balanced equation here. We're then told that 1.6 moles of nitrogen monoxide and 1.4 moles of oxygen are mixed together in a container with a volume of four decimeters cubed. So now we're not given the equilibrium concentrations. Um, we are given the initial moles of everything. OK, um, and we've got the volume of the container, which is going to come in handy at the end. Um, at equilibrium, we have 1.2 moles of nitrogen dioxide being formed. So we're given the equilibrium moles of the product. OK, so essentially what we need to do now is work out um, the equilibrium moles of everything, so of the reactants, and then from there work out the equilibrium concentrations. And once we've done that, we can then plug that into the Kc expression to get Kc. OK. So I'm going to show you how you should um, set out your working out for the rice method. Um, the first thing that I do is I write out the balanced equation slightly more spread out. So it's 2NO plus O2 goes to 2NO2. OK, and then along the left hand side, I'm going to write our rice and I will explain what each of them stand for. OK. Um, so rice, and as you can see, we're going to kind of do some working out over here. So this is how you should set it out. So the R in rice stands for the ratio of moles. OK, so I'll just write that here. So it's ratio of moles. OK, um, and we just get that from the balanced equation. OK, so all we do is we look at the balancing numbers um, and that gives us our ratio of moles. So over here. Uh, balancing number for nitrogen monoxide is two for here it's just one and for nitrogen dioxide it is two okay so this is the ratio of moles based on the balanced equation okay next thing uh, the i stands for initial moles okay and the e stands for equilibrium moles OK, so the moles at the beginning and at the end um, we have our equilibrium moles and the C stands for the change in moles. OK, so let's now have a look at how this applies to this question. So if I just grab the question again, what we want to do just by using the question, fill in parts of this um, rice table. OK, so we're told we have 1.6 moles of NO and 1.4 moles of O2 at the beginning. OK, so the initial moles for nitrogen monoxide is 1.6 and the initial moles of oxygen um, are 1.4. OK, so before the reaction even starts, this is how much nitrogen monoxide and this is how much oxygen we have. OK, and then we're told at equilibrium, 1.2 moles of NO2 have formed. OK, so at equilibrium, um, we have 1.2 moles of NO2. So I'm going to put 1.2 moles of NO2 there. OK, and this is what we get just from the question. And we've now got to basically work out all the gaps. So it's worth noting that at the beginning, you are only going to have. So before the reaction has even started, you are only going to have reactants. You are going to have no product. So the moles of the product, the moles of our NO2 are going to be zero. OK, we never have product at the beginning. Now, um, or in this reaction, we don't have any product at the beginning. OK, what we're now going to do is we're going to now look at the change in moles. So over here, this is the only one where we know the initial moles and the equilibrium moles. So we can essentially work out the difference between the two to look at the change in moles. OK, hopefully you can all see um, that the change in moles is plus 1.2. So to go from 0 to 1.2, we have added... 1.2 moles. OK, it's also worth noting 
um, that in this one and in most of them, we are going to gain products and we're going to lose reactants. So we're always going to lose reactants and we're going to gain products. OK, now we need to look at what the change in moles are going to be for our reactants. And this is where the ratio of the moles is important. OK, we're saying that uh, nitrogen dioxide is worth two moles. So that gained one point two. OK, so if we want to look at one mole, uh, so one mole is going to be half of that. So one mole is just going to be zero point six. OK, so over here we have one mole. We just said one mole is zero point six based on uh, the ratio of these two. So for O2, because it's our reactant, we're going to lose it. We are going to lose 0 0.6 moles. OK, so these ratios uh, need to make sense over here. So 2 is 1.2, 1 is 0 0.6. It's negative here because we're losing reactants and positive here because we're gaining products. OK, if we now go to NO, um, this is now 2. So 2 is worth 1.2. So we're now going to lose 1.2 moles here okay and now all we're going to do is we're going to apply those changes to get the equilibrium moles down here so we're going to do 1.6 minus 1.2 which means we're left with 0 0.4 and then over here we're going to do 1.4 take away 0 0.6 uh, so that means we're left with 0 0.8 okay we now have our equilibrium moles for everything OK, um, so we're nearly there. We can nearly start plugging things into KC, except in KC, we plug in concentration. We don't plug in moles. So to go from moles to concentration, remember the units for concentration are moles per decimeter cubed. So to go from moles to moles per decimeter cubed, we're going to divide everything by the total volume. Now, if you remember in the question, it said the container had a volume of four decimeters cubed. So all we're going to do is divide everything by four decimeters cubed, and that's going to give us our concentration in moles per decimeter cubed. So this one here is going to equal 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. This one over here is going to equal 0 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed. And this one's going to equal 0 0.3 moles per decimeter cubed. OK. So we now have our equilibrium concentration. So these are our equilibrium concentrations um, for each of these species. OK, what we're now going to do is we're going to plug those values into our case expression. But firstly, we need to write our case expression. I'm just going to leave these values down here. And I'm just going to rub out the top. OK, so just to remind you, uh, this one is for NO, this one is for O2 and this one is for NO2. OK, um, right. So KC expression, if I just write out the balanced equation again. OK, uh, these are all gases, so we can involve them all in our KC expression. It's homogeneous um, equilibria. So we do the products at the bottom. So it's concentration at uh, the top, sorry, concentration of the products raised to their balancing number. That was an NO raised to the power of two and O2 raised to the power of one at the bottom. OK, all we're now going to do is plug in these numbers into our KC expression. So it's the concentration of NO2 squared. So it's going to be 0 0.3 squared um, divided by... Um, NO squared, so 0 0.1 squared, multiplied by 0 0.2. OK, if you plug that correctly into your calculator, you should get a value of 45. We also now need to work out the units for KC. So I'll do this one in red. So if we just look at this expression over here, you can hopefully simplify, simplify it quickly. Um, if not, you can write it out. So it's moles per decimeter cubed squared at the top, divided by moles per decimeter cubed squared at the bottom, multiplied by moles per decimeter cubed. As you can see, those two cancel out, and therefore we are left with 1 over moles per decimeter cubed, 
and if we bring that to the top it becomes moles to the minus one uh, dm cubed okay so our final answer is 45 moles to the minus one decimeters cubed